This is KK6 Foxtrot Uniform Tango. I'm sitting out on my back patio with my latest project, which, which is a Echo Link node uh, connected to an RF link on two meters. What we have here on the left is a Linux computer running uh, SVX Link, a Echo Link software program that uh, runs on Linux. And in the middle is a little box there, which uh, interfaces between the radio and the PC. And on the right is a 2 meter transceiver. It's a Kenwood TR7400 Alpha, which uh, has been sitting around my garage and uh, thought I'd put it to some good use here. So how Echolink works is, if you haven't heard of it, is it actually connects uh, ham radio operators across the internet. Now that's not so interesting uh, for ham radio operators, but the nice thing it does do is it connects, it can connect two RF links. So Think of it as being able to extend two repeaters or two radios across a very large distance. Um, I put this together for the Boy Scout Jamboree on the air just to guarantee that we get some DX contacts and anyone knowing how the bands are nowadays of course that's uh, quite a challenge. Now hopefully HF will work but if not this is our backup. So uh, this is set up in simplex mode which means that you go in and out on the same frequency and uh, essentially your radio is listening for any activity and it transmits it to the internet. So um, I've got a, a Baofeng handheld here and uh, we can get the status of the node by doing some DMTF tones. So we can go to the Echo Link uh, Echo server, which will repeat back our 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 um, audio to us, and let's see if that works by dialing nine 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 nine, and let's see if it takes us to where we want to go. Actually, I got to go to Echo Link first here. Activating Echo Link. Two conference Echo test. your transmissions and plays them back to help you adjust your transmitted and received audio. Please feel free to connect as often as you like. This is Kilo Kilo 6 Foxtrot Uniform Tango testing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So as you can see, that gives you a little bit of insight into how your signal is doing. Now we're going to hit pound to leave that server. Echo test disconnected. Um, so uh, how this works on Echo Link is with a DMTF radio, wherever you happen to be, whether you're sitting a foot away like I am now, or if you're across town, you can dial any node number and get to that node. So um, you can also randomly dial nodes, which is kind of interesting. So let's see if we can connect to somebody randomly. Connecting to Charlie X-Ray 6 Delta X-Ray X-Ray Repeater. Connected. And so that puts us on a repeater and I have no idea where this is so I don't think I'm going to uh, call for any uh, contacts. But uh, that that's it. So let's connect. Disconnect from that. Ray six delta X ray X ray repeater disconnected. Anyway, so let's explain parts of the system here. So um, on the left, I, I mentioned the computer, and uh, there is on here a serial port, which is wired up here. And this, the only reason for the serial port is for. Uh, RTS and CTS, which we use for triggering PTT on our radio. Inside the box, uh, the magic box here, is uh, a circuit where, which uh, uh, triggers a relay and connects the PTT to ground. And you could actually do that with a transistor, but I used a relay uh, just to follow uh, some designs I was looking at. I did have to modify that design quite a bit. Um, there's a the sound card you can see here, which is a $2 and $50 sound card, 
that uh, you can get on eBay. Uh, you could also use the internal sound card for whatever computer you have. In this case, uh, this does not have an easily accessible uh, microphone port, so I just grabbed a sound card. Um, in addition uh, to uh, to the sound card, and it looks like we just put out an identifier. That's why the lights triggered over there. So uh, on the other side is this is the mic input that goes to the box on the other side here, and then on the other side uh, of the radio is a connector for the external speaker. So that's how our setup is. Turn the radio back on here. Frequency mode. Six link online. Kilo, kilo, six. Foxtrot uniform. Tango. The time is 3.17 p.m. PL is 127.3 hertz. Press zero, number sign for help. So I actually have this set up. So when we are in the field, uh, a couple of miles from here, and I've checked this actually at 5 watts on a handheld, and it works fine. Uh, I can get in and dial into the, there's a, actually a conference specifically for the Boy Scout Jamboree on the Air event, which is on October 15th this year, and we're going to sit there and listen to any stations there, and I'm not sure if anyone was there, is there right now, but uh, we, I have a macro to set up that, so I can get there with just three key presses. Activating Echo Link. Connecting to conference, Juliet, Oscar, Tango, Alpha, Dash, three, six, five. Connected. Great, and you, and you can't see it there, but it actually tells me that there's another uh, link, uh, RF link there for a station in the Philippines, which who I happened to have talking to earlier uh, today. Uh, which is Delta X-Ray 1 Charlie India and they're they're going to be connected uh, at the National uh, BSA or the, not the BSA the Boy Scouts of the Philippines uh, in on uh, October 15th as well so maybe we'll talk to them so um, anyway that is the latest uh, project I've been working on is uh, essentially an RF link for Echolink um, the uh, just a little bit on the node uh, the box in the middle is essentially that's two audio Isol isolators for uh, for the audio lines to make sure you don't get any ground loops. A uh, couple of pots to change the audio level if you need to. And the serial port and the relay. And I, I won't open that box up. It's kind of a pain to do that. But uh, if you're interested, uh, go ahead and contact me, uh, kk 6 Foxtrot Uniform Tango, and my email's on uh, QRZ73, uh, and talk to you later.